Hello, guys. Let's see this problem I can call string stream. So actually, string stream is nothing but a class in C++, which is basic, a very basic class that you guys need to know. It is used for stream. Like, what do they mean by string stream? Stream means you can say a flow, right? Stream means a flow. But what do they mean over here? Is it is kind of like arrays because it is stored in contiguous memories. That is one after the other. So what do they mean by that? Is uh, basically actually first of all, it is a class in C++. So we are using this class. Then SS is the name of the object. SS means it is actually a string stream. So it's object. Then the parameter that they pass over here is a string. Why am I saying it is a string? Because it is these the, these things are in, you know enclosed in double inverted commas. So it means that the, this whole thing is a string. Then they are initializing some character. Why character? Because the task is to separate the comma. So we are basically, if you guys know, comma is a character. So they are basically using ch to get rid of these commas or just skip them, right? The integers a, b, and c to get to extract value from the string. String stream object is actually used to, you know, associate string object with a string. I know this might sound a bit weird, but yeah, that's what it does do. Then integer, then the, we are using ss. Then actually the thing is that inside of this class, we can use two operators, which are the extra extraction operator and the insertion operator so see and in this video we don't need to or the problem we don't need to use the insertion operator we just have to use the extraction operator so see extraction operator not extraction so what we're doing is we have this string stream object which is linked you know associated with this string this string what i'm talking about we have to extract the data from this string so that's why we are using the extraction operator why am I saying extraction? It is extraction operator. So see, first of all, I told you that it is stored as a stream, right? So first of all, we'll get 24 at the first memory location, which will get extracted and stored in A. Then after 23, we after the immediate address of 23 in the location, memory location, I'm having a comma, which I don't want to get rid of. I don't want to use it. I'm basically going to skip it. So I'm going to set it as CH and I'm not going to do this CH obviously. Then I'll afterwards, after CH will extract B, then again a comma, which will get extracted as CH again. I, it, this is and this is the same basically. We don't have to use it, so you can use ch the same variable name. 56 will be extracted to c, and if you were to print out the code, you know, if you were to print out a and b and c, you get these values which are a, b, and c perfectly. So that's the explanation. Now let's see what we have to do in this problem. If you see, this is actually the same. We have to take in the string, separate the commas, and print it out. But there is a difference. There is a difference of vectors. So I'll just do one thing. I'll copy that code and paste it over here in C line so that I can explain you all a bit good, right? So see, we have to, the most important thing, you have to include the libraries or the classes, which is the string stream class and the vector class to use vectors. Input output, you know why. So basically to take an in input and output. So see, main, first of all, we'll jump to the main function. Then we are defining a string, str, and taking in a string. We are taking in a string which is nothing but this string, right? And we have to separate the commas from the string. So after that, they are defining a vector. Vector means a dynamic array, kind of like a dynamic array. Vector of type int means it will store integer values. And it is also named as integer, so it is good. So parse int. So if you guys are familiar with Java, you guys will think that parse int means it does something else. But no, parse int is nothing but the name of the function. So it can be anything, not only parse int. So, and we are passing in the string that we took in and we have to work on this string and basically extract the data in this function and return a vector type because if you see it, it is returning a vector type. So, return a vector type and afterwards it will get stored as integers and after we using a for loop to print out the vector. So, see, we have to complete this function. Okay, fine. The important thing is that we have to return a vector type, right? So, for that, I will simply define a vector so that I can return that vector. Vector of type integers again and it, let us call it V simply. So see, now our task is that we have to extract the data from the string. To extract data from the string, I told you all we can use the ss string, that is string, yeah, string stream ob class. Hold on, not only string, string stream class. Let us call the object as ss, and the parameter is going to be simply uh, a string, right? And that string is nothing but the string from which we want to extract the data, which is nothing but this string that we took in as the input from the user. That's why you have highlighted, so you guys can see that. So see. This all is fine, but I have to get rid of those commas. So to get rid of those commas, I can simply define a character ch, right? So instead of ch, let's call it skip comma, so that I know what does it do, right? So skip comma. So it is known as, not ch, it is known as char character type. So comma. And after that, what I'm supposed to do is, I have to take in an integer. But see, there are, it is not necessary that there are only three integers. There can be any number of integers. So for that, I'll need to use a while loop. And I don't need to take three now because I don't know how, how many integers do I have to initialize. Like there we initialized A, B, and C, if I'm not wrong. There were three. Yeah, here we initialized three. Uh, but here we don't know how many integers we can have, right? 
So for that I can say just one integer and after that I will use a while loop so that I can take in integers and skip the commas. So I will take care of the indentation while. So while what should be the condition? While there is something in this stream right. So this string object uh, will get linked to the ss right. ss what I mean is this ss. So I will simply say this ss actually. So while because we are associating this string object with the string that we took in as the input. So while ss exists right. It means that while there is some data in this ss. Then I am going to simply say, see what will happen, I will have to first of all get rid of those commas. So to do that, I will have to use a if condition, so that if it is a comma, so I will just skip it and I will not use it. So let us see if we get a comma. So to get a comma, so we will need to extract the data, right? But we don't have to extract the data, we can simply use a method or function in this called peak. So I am basically using the string object, we are peaking it in it. Peaking means we are just looking at it, we are not doing anything, we are just looking at it, right? So if this is not equal to a comma, so comma we don't have to use, see character, right? It is a character. So there should not be the double inverted comma, it should be a single inverted comma and a, then a normal comma that we have. If this is not equal to comma, then I have to take in the input, right? But one more thing, I should be able to take in input, right? So that's why I am going to use one more if condition that if ss and I am going to extract, that is if I can extract from this string, then only I'll, I can do, the, do that, otherwise I will get an error, right? otherwise I will skip it basically. So I, if I can take in an integer, that's why I am checking, if I can extract an integer from this string, if I am able to extract an integer in this string, or you can use this condition as well, if ss.p is not equal to comma and ss and you can extract in, but this, this is also fine, instead of. Then what I am going to do is simply push the value in that vector, so v, v is the name of my vector, this v dot push back, I am pushing in the value of n now because I am able to extract the data from it. If I am not able to extract, then what I am going to do, I am basically going to skip it, right? Because I don't want to, skip means I am going to skip the comma. So I will simply say ss and extract the data as the skip comma thing that I have. So skip comma and just hope that it works. But one more thing, the most important thing is that it should return a vector type. So that's why after the end of this, I am going to, because I if I have added values to this vector, it should be perfectly fine, working fine. So return v now and let us hope that it actually works. So I'll just copy this code inside the parse int function which is nothing but this complete the function thing and paste it over here and let us submit the code and hope there is no error in it. Okay, every test case is satisfying. There is no error in this side. So that's all from my side. You can subscribe to my channel to get updates regarding new videos. That's all. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and keep learning.